Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. Today's topic is GM crops. The meaning of GM crops is genetically modified crops. And they are those crops in which the DNA have been modified by a technique known as genetic engineering. Students, the holistic approach of genetic engineering are the aim of genetic engineering is to introduce desired characters in crop. And what are the desired characters? Well, the farmers, they want those crops which are resistant to pests and pathogens. That means... They want such kind of crops which cannot be eaten up by insects. They also want such crops which are resistant to herbicide. Herbicides, they are those chemicals which can kill herbs. Okay, the farmers, they are facing uh, the problem of weeds. So, herbicides, they are applying them on crops. Herbicides, no doubt, they can eliminate uh, weeds from the field. But at the same time, they are also damaging to the main crop. So, this is the problem which our farmers, they, uh, they are facing. So, genetic engineering it came with a solution to introduce or to form such kind of crops which are resistant to herbicide. Other than these characters, farmers, they also want such crops which were rich in nutrients. Genetic engineering, it can also enhance the nutrient profile of plants. Not only this, but in these days, we have such crops which are resistant to spoilage and they are also resistant to stress. Students, stress is the same stress that we feel. Plants, they also have same kind of stress. For example, when the temperature will be high or it will be low, Plants, they will undergo stress. And if they are infected with uh, organisms, they will also undergo stress. So, another character which genetic engineering is introducing in plants is stress resistance. Students, in today's time, we have different genetically modified crops in the market for example bt cotton it is grown in certain parts of our country like in the state of punjab it is bt cotton so what is bt cotton this crop it has taken the name from the gene which is introduced in the cotton this gene bt gene Okay, it has been isolated from an organism. That organism is a bacteria. The name of bacteria from which this Bt gene has been isolated is Bacillus thuringiensis. So, B for Bacillus and T for thuringiensis. This gene is providing toxic character which is dangerous for insects. Even a smaller dose of uh, the crop which has uh, this gene, Bt gene, can kill the insects. And the farmers, they were very anxious with uh, the ball worms because ball worms they were attacking cotton crop and they were eating all the crop so finally the genetic 
engineers, they have came with a solution and that solution was BT cotton. Other than BT cotton, we have BT brinjol, again BT gene, it is introduced in uh, brinjol and it, be, it became BT cotton and had a character which made it resistant against the attack of worms. Dear students, we have a crop, okay, tomato. Tomato is prone to spoilage, okay. So, a new variety of tomato has been introduced. It is known as flavor saver and it is uh, resistant to spoilage. You can store it, it for many days and this was produced by a company known as Calgene. Students, we in Kashmir are facing this problem of spoilage, okay? Like there are many varieties of fruit like strawberry, cherry. They fall in such category where they are prone to spoilage. How better it will be if such kind of varieties which will be prone to the uh, resistant to spoilage will be introduced in Kashmir. So our farmers, they will reduce the losses which they are facing due to storage or due to market unavailability. No doubt we have enormous benefits of genetically modified crops but at the same time they are with negative impacts on us and on our environment. The first one is the pollution with genetically modified crops they are creating. It is invisible kind of genetically modified crops they are attacking our biodiversity. You must know that GM crops, they are sterile. They don't produce seeds. So each year a farmer, he has to be dependent on the companies which are producing genetically modified crops. So it is creating a monopoly. There is loss of diversity. Uh, for example, in Kashmir, we have hundreds of different uh, kinds of brinjols. But if genetically modified um, brinjol will be introduced in Kashmir, what will happen? Everybody will purchase this, these plantlets and they grow in their fields because they will have good productivity and they will be resistant to uh, some pathogens or they will have some other desirable uh, characters. So everyone, they will buy and they start growing and uh, ultimately they will become dependent on these crops. And it will lead to loss of diversity. The seeds which are present today in our state, they will be eliminated from this area because of the emergence of GM crops. The other side effect is that the characters which uh, genetically modified crops, they, they are having... There is no guarantee that they are lifelong. For example, BT cotton, which was claiming to be resistant to ball worm, is no more resistant to insects. Okay? Many uh, farmers, they have reported that ball worms, they can still eat BT cotton because... These worms, these insects and pathogens, they have attained the resistance. So, this is going to be very serious. Other than this, there are many side effects on which scientists, they are working and they are confirming are they true or not. 
सो इट इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ एथिक्स डज वी नीड जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड क्रॉप टू फीड दिस ह्यूज अमाउंट और ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ पॉपुलेशन और ऑन द अदर हैंड वी आर लूजिंग अवर नेचर वी आर प्लेइंग विथ नेचर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टेक्निक विच इज एम्प्लाइड इन जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग ओके आई विल मेक एन अदर लेक्चर वेयर आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन विजिट टू माई वेबसाइट डेट इज डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट अमरप्रीत कौर डॉट कॉम